Whenever we meet people, we as mathematicians, teachers, instructors, professors, we inspire. But also we are inspired by other people, by people who put their time and effort to create a new beautiful um, features of this beautiful software. And we are also inspired by other educators and teachers who are using this in the classroom and out of the classroom. I hope we'll have a time here uh, in person to talk a little bit about your experience with GeoGebra, other softwares. This is time when we can meet people who are creating behind the scene um, software. Um, uh, we have here two uh, girls from girls, <laughs> women. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit older. Uh, a young woman from Austria who came here all the way uh, through the ocean <laughs> to talk with us in person. And we have also people from George Zebra team in, in US who want to share and help us. So today we start with short welcome and there is a there is a, a schedule which you you can um, you can look at uh, in the internet. We have the welcome with uh, my um, I can say friend. Absolutely. Can I have said friend? Um, can we be friends? Happily, okay. happily, happily. So my friend Rob Ponte Cover of him I know several years online and this year I yeah. I met him two days ago first in time. person in first time. Jebra, Jebra does that. I, I met so many wonderful people. And, and Rob is former teacher, yep. head of the school. Yep, for 32 uh, years in uh, New York State. And now he's just a GeoGebra fanatics. <laughs> <laughs> and no, he, 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 he works and helps yep. teachers and uh, creators and educators to, to use GeoGebra in the United States. And he was so kindly to come help us to organize. There's another organizer, Samantha Cruz. Um, dear friend, former student, <laughs> current student, future student, teacher, um, Twitter person helping us with organization. And you have seen behind the scene mathematics department and um, the, why it, we are creating this conference, doing this conference here. Uh, Markus Hohenwarter, who is a creator of GeoGebra, was here at FAU, supported by some NSF grant for a couple of years, working, expanding the program. So he was in the United States here at Florida, uh, Florida Atlantic University. And I always take the dates wrong. He always make me, you know, I met him here, but I don't remember. It's 2002 or 2006 or 2012. Who knows? Right. Somewhere in the past. And he came uh, to the United States for a couple of years and he was expanding and trying to make his software to be accessible by people like here we in the United States, but people all over the world. So one of the things which is very impressive is that you go to the languages in GeoGebra web page and you can have pretty much most of the languages in the world. And people who translate GeoGebra and software and the materials are volunteers. I personally have friends in Poland who did it to Polish. You can have Polish, Spanish, Chinese, Over Mandarin. 60 languages. Over, Over 60, 60 languages. languages, but really the languages are, are done by volunteers. So be, besides languages, it's important that you feel you are part, if you use GeoGebra, you are part of bigger community. I speak all of them. So <laughs> okay, so <laughs> without future yes. ado, I ask Rob to continue. He uh, prepared short presentation for welcome. And after that, we will start with the with the online presenter Steve Fels, a colleague from uh, from Ohio, who is doing the beautiful statistic starting statistics with simulation presentation, and then we will have uh, our uh, colleagues in person, uh, Tanya Wassermeyer and Marie Tomaszko, mm -hmm. and then it will be Tim Brzezinski. Uh, so we have a mixture online and in person. Then we have a lunch but the online uh, trend will be continue. And we, after the lunch, we have two workshops just for teachers, just for participants, who, not only teachers, but participants who are here and at four we are closed. I wanted just to mention that we are recording all the presentation. I am not sure if I am recorded, maybe yes, <laughs> but the presentations will be recorded and will be posted later on, on uh, YouTube GeoGebra channel with titles. It should be cut at, at each. Uh, so it's worth uh, checking out. Okay, so in your hands. Thank you. Thank in you. Your hands. 
You know, I, I have to say uh, at GeoGebra and here at the conference, we don't just look at today, we look at the future. And I have to tell those participants who are not here today live that uh, if you have the opportunity uh, next year, please come down to FAU in Florida and visit this conference live because it's a fantastic experience. I mean, you come down to Florida, you get to stay in the beautiful weather, and then they thank you for coming <laughs> you know, to the conference. So really it's, it's just been fantastic. Also for our participants that are here today, you know, we've got a couple of special things planned. You know, of course the networking alone with our, our friends from Austria, you know, from the GeoGebra team, but also we'll have a couple of giveaways and we um, have a special uh, early evening, uh, we like to say happy hour, uh, right? Uh, planned for tonight. So the participants of course are all invited and welcome. I think Sam maybe will give us some more information about that times and places and things like that. Also, what we're gonna do before you all leave this room today, we're gonna to find out who traveled the furthest so they can get uh, there. Oh. Well, yeah, they don't count. They don't count, right? All the Austrians, they already have a GeoGebra t-shirt, but we're gonna see, right? All right, so so thank you all for joining us, both, both in person and online. Um, my name is Robert Pontecorvo. I am the head of the uh, community program. So uh, before I leave today, I will put up a slide with a QR code. Um, and invite you to, to uh, join our community program. Basically, um, the one benefit, the quick benefit, is that um, it gets you a copy of our newsletter emailed to you um, about four times a year. You don't have to worry. You don't get pummeled with emails and advertisements, of course, from GeoGebra. Uh, but it gives you the latest updates at least four times a year. And it also could get you invited to other update events that we have throughout the year. So it's a kind of good way to stay in touch. Because as I travel around the country and I present GeoGebra to people, I usually start by saying, so who uses GeoGebra? And pretty much most people raise their hand. And then I show them first the calculators. And then I begin to show them the resources in GeoGebra Classroom. And people always say, well, wait a minute. Whoa, GeoGebra has changed you know, since I first used it. What, what is all this stuff? I thought it was just a calculator. And I'm like, oh, I know, right? You haven't really been staying on top of it. GeoGebra, I would say, is way much more than just calculators. Now, as a matter of fact, we're very excited to present during this conference some of the new US resources that our team is uh, creating specifically for um, next school year. And I'm not gonna give a lot of details about that because I don't wanna steal our, our presenter's thunder, but um, some, some really nice things planned uh, coming up in the future. But uh, I, I think I've, I've, I've said enough, right? Because you don't wanna hear from me. So um, I called up the man and I said, look, I understand you can't come to GeoGebra because you're sending two others, right? But uh, I'm sorry, come to Florida because you're sending two others. But um, how about a message just uh, that we can give the participants? So, as you know, I think this is a message of greeting from, uh, from Marcus Hohenwater, the creator and CEO of GeoGebra. Hello, I'm Marcus Hohenwater, the creator of GeoGebra. When I created GeoGebra, the goal was to develop a teaching tool that could help students visualize and learn mathematics through both geometry and algebra simultaneously. Soon after, when I made the decision to make GeoGebra freely available to students and teachers, my mission was to remove barriers to being able to learn and study mathematics. Today, that goal and mission remain the same. Through the great work of our user community and GeoGebra team, we were able to continually focus our direction for updates, improvements, and even in the development of new products. I want to thank you, our user community of millions of teachers around the world, for being part of our work to help students learn and enjoy mathematics. Thank you for listening. I hope you continue to use and enjoy GeoGebra. Right, thank you, Marcus. So of course our participants here know, and everybody probably online knows, that uh, GeoGebra remains completely free to students, teachers, schools, right? There's no upsell, there's no lower version. People always ask me that, that well, can I have the, up, the higher version? And I say, you have, it. that's it. It's, that's, you know, there's, there's no cost and fee at all for you. So uh, it's a, a fantastic creation. I think since about 2001, Kat, I don't know when you first met Marcus, but it kind of really started developing around 2001. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, just before I say goodbye for today, um, that is the QR code. Oh, wait a minute. It's never going to scan with that thing. Right. That's not going to scan. I'm sorry, Sam, can you say that again? Yeah, I think they'll get it from that now, right? Because I have it now below. Can someone here 
I'm going to leave it sit. Screen sharing has been stopped. No, I don't think we want to stop the screen sharing. I did it. All right, hold on. Screen share. Let me screen share this part. Okay, share. Give it a minute to open. Hold on. Now, Sam, can you test that with your phone? It's opening now? Beautiful. There we go. Hey, it's easier than that if you want. If you go to the GeoGebra homepage and scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the Community Involvement Program. It's a book. Just click on that book, open it up. It's right on our homepage. And this way you can start to stay up to date on the latest. Go we can show that here. Screen share Beautiful. Yeah, let's open it up. So here's the home page. Scroll a little bit. Oh, there you go. There is. This is all about our community program. Okay. Just to let you know, I mean, since Tasha has given me this opportunity, um, if you're just a follower of GeoGebra, you'll get a follower badge that you can show on your profile. But of course, if you create content for your classes that you share publicly, uh, you could earn a contributor badge. Or if you do what we're kind of doing today and help spread the word about GeoGebra, uh, you might be uh, earning an ambassador badge. Also, what we try to do is promote groups of people. Maybe in your school, you have three or four teachers that all use GeoGebra and you want to do a conference at your school about GeoGebra and you can run that. Well, you can become a GeoGebra Institute or I mean, if you're in a bigger part of Florida and you cover a little bit of Central and South Florida, you can even form a GeoGebra network, right? Depending on how many people you have. You don't have to worry about what you're forming. We'll take care of that and help you through it. Um, but there you go. So please feel free to join uh, our community program. All right. So thank you very much. It's good seeing all your faces here live, of course. And uh, I hope you are able to see exactly what we're doing online. Kasia, I'm going to turn it over to you. Is that okay? Are we good? Yes. We we're do. still shared? We all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thanks. Keep giving her applause. Yeah. You know. We're we're holding up the so applause. So who is getting the we'll t-shirt? We'll figure it out we once we're off air. Yeah, okay. once we're off air. Okay. Yeah. So now we, we have 10 minutes break. It's a coffee across the room. And our friends from the Austria, Tanya and um, Melanie. Melanie will be presenting in this room at starting at 9. Okay. So now it's a short break. I'm stop sharing. And uh, we are stop recording. Yes, Emily.